Hello, this is Stephanie from Ferret World and again with Dr. Vella. And um, the question that we're asking is whether or not practices of neutering ferrets really young in the US uh, affects them, affects their lifespan and how it affects them. Sure, it's a really good question and it's a bit of a uh, controversial topic in some, some respects mm. because in the US there are, um, routinely there are ferrets that are neutered at a very young age, you know, mm -hmm. talking six to eight weeks even. Um, and they're also decented at that time, which is something we don't practice in Australia. Yeah. Um, there's a strong evidence now to suggest that early neutering um, has an effect on the production of adrenal gland disease later in life. Okay. Um, and even just neutering in general can have an effect on, on adrenal gland disease in ferrets. Yeah. But by, by neutering them so young, it's, it's been shown that it, it actually induces the adrenal gland disease in the ferrets at a much younger age. Right. Um, look, adrenal gland disease is a treatable thing, yeah. um, and there are some, some calls from different parts of the world that we shouldn't be neutering ferrets, mm -hmm. we should be using hormones to influence their, their neutering and things like that, but yeah. the jury is still out on, on the proper and, and recommended ways to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Most people still neuter ferrets, yeah. um, but perhaps in combination with hormone adjustments you can reduce the incidence of adrenal gland disease in ferrets. Again, we're still waiting on some of the evidence to come through in the next yeah. few years. Um, <clears throat> but it doesn't, look, in ferrets in general in the US live, live quite well. You know, we talk, we hear them often saying nine to 11 years, yeah. which is a really good lifespan for okay. a ferret. Yeah. Um, ferret medicine in, in the US is practiced to a very high level. Mm -hmm. So they, they probably have a really good hang, handle on some of the geriatric diseases, not just adrenal disease, but other mm. diseases like cardiac disease and yeah. Okay. Um, so neutering in, at the young age, the jury's still out on it. There's a there's a North American flavour, there's a European yeah. flavour, <laughs> and there's somewhere in between, which is Australia. So it's um, just a kind of controversial debate at this stage. Yeah, it is a bit of a controversial debate, and there's mm -hmm. some really good work going on at the moment. And I think in the next few years we'll get we'll get some really good evidence based information on yeah. what are the, the best practices to do. Okay. For that. So in the meantime, still in, kind of neuter? In the meantime, the general recommendation is still neutering. Um, unless you're going to keep your ferrets outdoors, which most people don't. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, each year, if you don't neuter them, you have to actually bring them out of season. Um, yeah. So, so with the jill jab. Yeah, the jill jab. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there's other, there's other long, longer lasting hormones as well that can mm -hmm. be used. but. You know, maybe perhaps if we stop neutering female ferrets, we don't get adrenal gland disease, but we might start seeing a lot more uterine diseases, right. which is something we remove when we do desexing. Um, and but uterine diseases, true. well, they can be a medical emergency. Right. You know, and that's a bit of a concern, you know, because so adrenal gland disease, well, we'll treat it a bit, we'll treat it next month. Yeah. You know, but in a lot of cases, not in all cases, but yeah. a uterine disease ferret, you've got to treat that. Straight often away. pretty much straight away okay. if they've got an infection especially. Oh, that's pretty good to know. Mm. So anyone considering all the options, that's... The jury's still out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Vella. <laughs> Thank you.